hello techies in our previous session we have learned how to get our values from the drop down as well as to get the data from the html table by using extract data from web page action as part of power automate desktop now in this session we will learn how to load the data into this html table by changing the values from the drop down which is category let me show you an example now at the time of loading this page the category default one is nifty 50 now if i'm going to select another category value that is nifty next 50 in that case the data will be loaded for the values of the category that is nifty next 50 values right there you can see the html table will varies based on the values which you are going to give it at the category drop down values now how can we go ahead and load the data for the entire data by changing the values at the drop down that is by using power automate desktop let me go back to the power automate desktop now if you observe the entire list of categories we have extracted the data into the variable that is text list now what i have to do i have to loop through the text list and then i have to set the value of the drop down by using set drop down list value on web page so by using this action you can set or clear selected options on the drop down all right first of all what i will do i will go through the loop by using for each action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after split text now in our text list flow variable i'm having n number of values so what are the values to iterate that is text list I'm going to select the variable over here as text list or you can select list of categories that we have extracted the data by using extract data from web page action from the drop down all right now I'm going to store each and every current item that we will get it as every value as nifty 50 nifty next 50 each and every current item I'm going to store in current category item and then I'm going to click on save now i'm going to drag this extract data from web page to extract the data from the html table i'm going to use this inside my for each condition right so for each and every time it will load the data but now it has to be loaded based on the current item that is that which you are getting from the text list what are the text list having i'm having the drop down values over there right now each and every time i need to set the drop down list value how can we go ahead and set it we can set the value in the drop down by using set drop down list value on the web page there you can see i'm having two actions over here one is set drop down list value in window this will be used for the windows form but right now we are working with web form so that i'm going to use set drop down list value on the web page so where i need to drag this one inside the for each because of every time that we are going to get the item from the drop down that is in the text list so i'm going to use this set drop down list value on the web page and i'm going to drag inside the for each and then if you see the parameters of the set drop down list value on the web page which sets or clears the selected options from the drop down list in a web form the parameters we have the first parameter is the web form instance where we are going to give the instance for the browser now the second one is the ui element so the ui element will comes from the drop down what is that is the drop down from the categories now if you see i don't have any ui elements for this one so that i am going to add ui element to capture the drop down element from the web page by using ui element picker and i'm going to use control from my keyboard and left button from my mouse to pick the ui element that is drop down see over here it is getting highlighted in red color and then i'm going to use control and left button from my mouse to pick the ui element now if you see it is wait for action now once the ui element has picked it up there you can see ui element that has been given over there right now what is the operation that we need to do there are a lot of options that we are having in the operation there you can see i'm going to clear all the options or select options by name or select options by index but right now what is our agenda 
what are the values that you are going to get it in the text list i need to give as an option in the drop down so i'm going to select select options by name and after that what is the option name that you want to give it right now the each and every item will go through the loop and it will be stored inside the current category item right so that i need to give the option over there as the name that is option name i'm going to give it from the variable that is current category item let me select that and then i'm going to click on select now each and every time it is going through the loop and then whatever the current category item that we are going to get it it will set in our drop down all right let me click on save now if you see over here i am having an action after setting the drop down list value on the web page with the current category item now it is trying to extract the data but it has to wait to load the data from the particular html table how can i go ahead and wait for that one if you see in our previous session we have used wait for web page content as a default right now i'm going to use the same action over here inside the for each before extracting data onto the web page i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to paste this action between eight and nine actions now after selecting the category item in the drop down or choosing the option in the drop down it will wait for some time to load the data in the web page content and then it will extract the data from the web page that is html table which we have as an output all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first step it will try to navigate to the website that is https www.nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market once the page has loaded successfully it has extracted the data from the drop down and if you see it is going through the loop for each and every item in the drop down now it is trying to set the values in the drop down there you can see it has been highlighted and then it will extract the data from the page web page that is html table what we have once it has been extracted there again it will go for the second step there you can see the category that is the drop down has selected nifty next 50 and then again it will wait for the web page content to extract the data and then it will go on repetitive process like that it will set the data in the drop down by using set drop down list value on the web page i hope you understand how to change the values from the drop down by using set drop down list value on web page action as part of this tutorial